Hey guys, for cheap games and great deals, check out G2A.com, link down below. What's up my fellow prodigies, Prodigy here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to get the best audio settings in Audacity so you can make your voice sound more professional in a way. And the mic that I'll be using in this video will be my phone just to show how much of a difference these settings can do. Now before we get into today's video, put you to go drop a like, I really appreciate that. And go follow me on Twitter because I do like to tweet out daily. And also if you guys can, put you to go enter in the giveaway where me and my friend Trauma Plays will be giving out 3 copies of Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition to 3 people. And each copy will be available to PS4, Xbox One, and PC, so be sure to go tell your friends about it because this giveaway giveaway will be ending on October 22nd and also my friend Deluxe invited me to host another giveaway where he will be giving out $120 PSN or Xbox card depending on what console the winner prefers to have it on. So when you get the chance, go enter in both of these giveaways and guys let's see if we can get 30 likes on today's video because I believe we can hit that and just for a quick side note, my blue Yeti came in 3 days earlier which I was surprised by but it was broken so I had to order a refund for it. Now. I gotta wait for my next Yeti to come in because of that, so sorry if you were planning on seeing gameplay on my channel soon. It's gonna be a little while, and guys, comment down below what you prefer to have for your audio settings because I wanna hear what you guys have to say, but without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now getting into this video, I'm not gonna be doing a live recording of my audio, but I will be using pre-recorded audio that is unedited because I currently record my commentaries is by using a voice recorder on my phone and uploading audio files from my phone to my PC. Now before you start recording, you need to do some steps so you get the best audio possible in the beginning. Now the first thing you want to do is turn off your fans or air conditioners in your room because your audio gets heavily affected by the sound of wind caused by your fans. Now I know some of you guys might complain saying it gets super hot in your room when you record with no fans on, but the thing is, you gotta suck it up because fans really affect the quality of your video. Now second tip is to have a nice position for your mic which is really crucial when you're recording because if you're too close to your microphone your audio will start like getting all stuffy sounding and your audio will start clipping. But if you're like too far away from your mic, then the mic won't be picking up your vocals as well. It might sound like you're in a big empty room because of the amount of echo being caused from the distance away from your mic. So you want to try and find the best distance possible away from your mic so it makes you sound more clear and doesn't cause clipping. Third tip is getting yourself a pop filter which if you don't know what it is, it basically removes the spit sound when saying things that use like the putt sound for example. And you can buy pop filters for cheap as low as $5 which I don't think anyone should buy a pop filter that is more than $15 because pop filters they aren't something you should invest a lot of money on. And for the fourth tip, make sure you want to have a good voice and or mic volume because this kind of goes with the thing I said about clipping because if you talk too loud in your videos, well first off don't be screaming your head off when you're recording because then people are just going to find you weird and clipped off your video but you don't want to like cause clipping which will lower your audio quality and you don't want to talk too quiet in your videos because then people won't be able to understand what you're saying and such. Now that we got those tips out of the way, depending if you're like me who records your audio off a different device and later uploads it to your computer, or if you have your microphone plugged straight into your PC, when you start recording, you want to have at least 8 or more seconds of background noise because we're later going to be using a tool where it will remove all background noise, if any, in your video. And once you have 8 or more seconds of background noise, you just want to get your normal recording in by hitting the record button in Audacity and hit the stop button when done. But for this video, I'm going to be using a small recording I decided to use as an example for this tutorial. Now this is what my voice sounds unedited. Hey what's up YouTube Prodigy here and today I'm going to be doing an audio test to help improve your audio for your commentaries. Now from the recording in comparison to my voice right now, it's very different but we're going to change it so the audio sounds as good as my voice right now. So for the first tip in improving your audio, you want to highlight all of your background noise that you pre-recorded, click on to effects and go to noise reduction and click on get noise profile which will scan all of the background noise for later. Once you do that, you want to highlight your whole recording, go to effects, back to noise reduction, then copy the settings I have for this and click OK. And what this will do is remo remove any background noise in your video which could be your PC or the sound of your console because we all know how annoying it can be when you're watching someone's YouTube video and all you can hear are the fans in their consoles or the sound of their PC. The next step I personally like to do is equalization. Now with your audio highlighted, go to effects, then hit equalization. 
Now in here, we're going to be adding bass to our voice, which makes you sound more mature in a way. Now, if you're a girl, you might want to skip this step because I don't know much girls who like to have their voice sound deeper. But anyway, you want to change the setting to bass boost. And at this part, it's really your preference on how much bass you want in your voice. Like for me, I like to stick around 10 decibels because that works well for me. But with some people, you might want to add less or more bass depending on the type of voice you have. And if you're not sure if you have the right amount of bass to your voice, you can just hit the preview button to hear what it sounds like. And after choosing your preferred setting, just click OK. And soon you'll see that your vocals have gotten a bit thicker from the bass. Now we're going to be going back to equalization again to add treble to our voice. And again, the same thing applies. It's all about like what you prefer. Like for example, I don't like adding much treble to my voice personally. And I usually have it like super low. But it's all about your preference. And if you don't know how to change the amount of boost, all you gotta do is drag the line down or up to the level that you like. Then click OK once you do that. The next step I like to do is called compression, which basically levels your audio so everything is at the same volume because most of the time, when you're doing a commentary, your voice doesn't say the same volume, so you want to have everything pretty much even. Now what you want to do is head on over to effects, then click compressor. Now I don't mess with any of these settings except for the top one, which the smaller you set the number, the louder your voice will be set at, and the larger you set your number, the more quieter your voice will be at. Now for me, depending on how loud I am in my video, I usually set it from negative 11 to negative 6, but this is really your preference, and once you find the level that suits you, click OK. And once you do that, you're pretty much done for your audio. All you want to do is save your audio file, then export it so you can later add it to your video editing software. And if you want to hear another comparison of my voice of unedited and then versus my edited clip, here it is. Hey, what's up YouTube, Prada J here, and today I'm going to be doing an audio test to help improve your audio for your commentaries. Hey, what's up YouTube, Prada J here, and today I'm going to be doing an audio test to help improve your audio for your commentaries. And after adding all those effects, my phone's mic audio sounded more professional than it did before. So if you guys use the settings and do the tips I taught you, your normal microphone will sound 10 times better improving the quality of your commentaries. And that pretty much wraps up today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and so drop a like because I really appreciate that. And also if you guys can, go follow me on Twitter because I do love to tweet out daily and if you didn't do so already, go into any giveaways where my friends will be giving out 3 copies of Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition and one twenty dollars PSN or Xbox card depending on what console the winners prefer. So be sure to go into both these giveaways in the description down below. And guys, let's see if we can get 30 likes on today's video because I really like that. And go drop down a comment down below of the worst commentary experience you ever had or talk about what you prefer to have for your audio settings because I want to hear what you guys have to say. And guys, again, I reordered a new Yeti and I'm still wondering what you guys are interested in seeing on my channel as of gameplay. So comment down below what gameplays you guys would like to see on my channel because I only want to do videos that you guys would want to watch. Now subscribe for more content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one.